Hey there YouTube, my guy Noah here back with another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to run and install Windows programs on your Macintosh. Now this will work with any executable Windows file. In this case I'm going to show you how to install Steam. There are many games on the Steam library. Some are compatible with Macs, others are not compatible. So as a Mac gamer you don't have as many options as the PC gamer does. Here's a little get around to getting Steam to work on your Mac. So what you're first going to do is you're going to do a Google search for Wineskin Winery and just click the first link. This is the home page right here. All you have to do is hit click me to download and it will start downloading Wineskin Winery. I already have it downloaded as you can see in the bottom bar there. So I'm not going to do that but I assume you will do that and then drag it to your applications folder. The next thing we're going to need is the Steam Setup Executable file. So all you need to do is go on to steampower.com and instead of installing Steam for Mac, you're going to click under this where it says also available for Windows and Linux. You're just going to click the Windows and it will start downloading the executable file for Windows. And as you can see, I already have the executable file on my desktop right now. I should also have mentioned that you do need an application called XQuartz. Um, it's available as a free download if you just do, like again, like I said, a quick Google search for X11. Um, it's called XQuartz, but if you search for X11, you should be able to find it. First link pops up and then download the latest release so we're gonna close out of um, Google Chrome for now and we're gonna open up wineskin winery that we just downloaded all right so wineskin winery should look like this and what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to add an engine to start creating a blank wrapper in which all of the contents of your Windows application is going to be inside of so you're just gonna hit the plus button there and then click the blue download and install button and then hit OK once that's done, you're just going to hit the Create New Blink Wrapper button at the bottom there and name it whatever you want to. In my case, I'm going to name it steam.app and hit OK. Now this process should take a few minutes, so I'll be right back with my app file. OK, now that it has created the Blink Wrapper, we're just going to hit the View Wrapper and Finder button. And that will open up the steam.app file that we just created. And so now we're going to go ahead and double click that to open it. Now if you run into this error, where it says the application can't be opened. That tends to happen a lot. It only tends to happen, I found, like in Yosemite and later. I'm right now currently in El Capitan. There's a very simple solution to fix that though. If you right click on it, the app that you just created and hit show package contents and then double click Wineskin in there, it should open up no problem. So next we're gonna hit the install software button and then choose setup executable. And in this case, I have it saved to my desktop. So I'm just gonna click okay on that okay and so this screen should be very familiar if you have installed steam before in the past you're just gonna hit next I agree to the terms and conditions next English and you can leave the destination folder with the default is and hit install and then hit finish and then it's gonna obviously update steam check for any available updates so we'll give that a second and once steam is done installing the new update it should be on this screen right here and all you need to do is log into your existing account by clicking this button or click this to create a new account if you're new to Steam and don't have an account yet. And then all you need to do is insert your account name and password information. I'm going to do that off camera really quick. I should note that once you close out of the Steam application, this box will pop up that will ask you which executable file is normally used in Windows to start the program. Normally it's usually like steam.exe. This is also useful for when you want to just launch one game from your Steam library. You can tell it to run any executable that you install via the Steam store. In this case we're just going to say steam.exe and hit OK. So I put in my information and I launched Steam. And so now if I go under my library and games. You can see all the games that I have. I'll just show you like Cities XL Platinum for example. That's a Windows only game. You can see that now it says install because I'm basically emulating a Windows environment. So for this example, just to show you that it works, I'm going to install, let's do one of my personal favorite games, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You can see that it is starting to download and it'll take about four minutes to download it, three minutes. So I will come back when it is all downloaded and installed. Okay, so you can see here that it has completed Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So if I go ahead and hit play, it should open up the game. Yeah, here it is, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 on my Mac. You know, I can start a new game and everything works perfectly, you know. I'm playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, one of my childhood games. Oh man, this brings me back. Nostalgia. 
at its finest. This is actually a really good game. And if you notice, once I quit Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I still have this like really tiny little Steam icon right here. This is kind of like on a Windows PC, this would be like down here in the right, bottom right hand corner. It's like a little icon. If you just like right click on it, you can launch the store back up. It's not a big problem. Or if it's not working like mine, you can just quit it and then reopen it. And yeah, there you have it. I installed Steam on my Mac. It's running. I played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 to prove it to you. I mean, obviously, this is not going to work with every single application that you have in the Steam library. It works really well with like the older games like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I mean, obviously, this you can see that the windows are a little bit glitchy and stuff. That's typical. It doesn't really affect the app too much. You'll just notice visual bugs. That's a small price to pay when you have freaking Steam at your fingertips. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to about wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys found this tutorial very useful and helpful. If you guys would be so kind and leave me a like and subscribe to my channel, that would be much appreciated. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to send me a private message or write your comment in the boxes down below with the other comments. I may not be able to answer all questions, but I will be able to answer any frequently asked questions. So don't hesitate to ask. Alright, that'll about do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.